to get set up for the next stage. So this one's good. The other side's good. And now we need to get the actual corners good. And I did notice they were slightly, and I do mean slightly, off. This would have been one of the better measurements done at the factory. So this is flat, flat. And when I get up to the top, it, uh, this shaft's getting me, hold on. There we go. There's just ever so slight. I mean, that is, that's hardly anything to even think about, but you know, why not? I'll give it one go and see how it goes. If it's too much trouble, I'm not gonna worry about it. So let me take a minute to uh, check the batteries and everything on the camera, and uh, we'll get started with this in just a moment. Also, by the way, it's always good to have some coffee. Yeah, this is a great place called Shipshawana, Indiana. Uh, fun little Amish town. And don't forget your M&Ms. Mm, good stuff. Okay, so when I put this on here, I noticed the gap was on this section here, which means between these two points here, this one's got to loosen up to pull this more this way. So I've loosened these two. I'm going to loosen these two. And then I'm going to stick a little tiny shim right here. So let's see what happens. Get that a little, oh, don't knock over the M&Ms. Just have to eat some more. It's really nice that this CR10 Mini came with these nice little end caps. It's a minor thing, but I just think it makes it look much nicer. Okay, so it doesn't seem very loose, but the screws sure are. Wobbly, wobbly. Definitely loose. Okay, we got some space. Now, I guess I'll loosen these up a little bit more so I'm not fighting anything. There we go. Uh, just because it's so narrow, I'm going to start out with a two-folded 0 0.03 shim. So let's try this one first. Okay, apparently that's bumping the shoe down at the bottom of the foot. Okay, got that in. I'll line it up a little bit. Now I'm not worried about snugging the other side. All I care about right now is getting this one square. Once I know that this one's good, then I can decide what I need to do with the other side after measurement. All right, so here we go. Nice and snug. Big old triangle. If your triangle's too long, just bump it to the side that you get a good fit on and let it overhang over here as long as nothing's getting in the way to stop your accurate measurements. Now, right there, my shim seems to have done a very good job. I don't have any complaints. That's much more square than it was before. So we're gonna leave that 0.02 in there and let's go to the next side, see what we got. <clears throat> These I am going to snug back in, gently. Don't want to wear out the uh, threads on this aluminum stock. Okay, here we go again. Put this here, hold it flat, down here. Okay, I have a gap right there. So what does that mean? Let me think for a second. Thing's very sharp, by the way. Gives me a more accurate measurement because it fits the whole unit. Well, almost fits. It's looking pretty good there. I swear there's a gap there. I just can't really see it. Yeah, that's not touching that well. So let's try it over here again. Anytime you can measure this with the longest measuring device, it'll give you more accurate reading on this angle problem. Oh man, that's pretty doggone close. I can still see just a little bit right there. It only, it only goes right to about here, so I don't know if I've got more of a bent extrusion. Right there. 
Hmm. Maybe we'll leave that one like it is, and hopefully that one took care of it. Now let's check the other side. There we go again. Sorry this is long and boring. It's just how it is when you got to measure up your stuff. All right. Flat here and flat down here. Pulling my finger pressure this way. Looking down here, I can see through it again. I was going to use some uh, of the metal tape that's adhesive, but when I stuck one of those in there originally, I had, it threw everything off so much I couldn't believe it. The thickness was like 0.1, which I thought was pretty cool, but it ended up being way more than I could have used. And this one's just being a little more difficult to get in. Got it. Okay. Tighten it. Measure it. Hopefully it's good. Oops, wrong direction. I love the ball headed, the ball ended Allen wrenches. They're really nice. Help you get those awkward angles. Okay, snug. Measure. This on my shoulder again. Okay, nice and flat there. Oops. It's hard to hold on these smooth surfaces. There we go. And is that it? That is it. Yes. Done. Make sure it's not over. Oh, it's right on the edge. Perfect and perfect. Okay, so that one's squared. Check the other side. here. There we go. A little off there. What I feel I need to do after measuring this is to actually put a shim here and here to open up this corner and bring this this way. So I'm going to do a quick rush job here. That's an easy pull. Use something a little thicker. We're going to bring in the uh, four millimeters, or not four millimeters, I'm sorry, the four folds, which is 0 0.07 millimeters. Okay, they just happen to be my two handy ones. There's one. And there's two. Okay, you guys hold. You know, and this is a quick guess. It may work, it may not. I could have done it across here too. Just kind of in a hurry. Snug. Snug. Almost. There. Okay. Flat here. Go against that. Ah, oh, that's so much better. That I'm happy with. Okay, so. Completed. 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 Last check. Okay, well, I hope that helped. Uh, not sure what else to say at this point. Just glad I got that done. Can't wait to snug everything down. Don't forget to give this a last check across your perpendicular plane. Oh, that's beautiful. I have no complaints on that. I am curious if they are truly at the same distance. Let's see. Oh, that's getting critical. That's like... Uh, Ooh, 28, 30 seconds, 64, 28, 64, so 9 and 28, 64, and 9 and 28, 64, so, oh, that is really critical. Okay, so, I think job well done, that deserves some more coffee and some more M&Ms, uh, time to pack it up and go to the movies, I hope you guys like this, let me know if you have any questions about it. And I hope this helps a lot of you guys assemble your units together the right way the first time so you don't go through what I've been through. All right, y'all take care. Remember, this is Ken with 3D Mojo.